As you guys know, I love me a good challenge. And if there's any game that's challenged me more on the channel, it would have to be GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr is a game in which you get put somewhere random in the world on Google Maps and you have to try and work out where you are by moving about and looking at the trees and the grass and the people and the language. And you've got to try and guess on this map where you think you are, the closer you are, the better score you get. For example, right here, I mean, I can kind of safely tell you that this is the UK. In fact, I can see that it's in Leeds, which is awesome because I know exactly where Leeds is. So I would go into Leeds, make my guess, and as you can see, I got myself a very nice score there. So as you can see, the game is super, super fun. There's one game mode that I always seem to be not so great at, and that would have to be the Country Streaks game mode. Country Streaks is a mode on GeoGuessr in which you have to try and guess which country you are in. It doesn't matter how close you are, but there's a catch, and that is you have to try and guess it as many times in a row as you can without fail. You can see here that my best streak is a pretty nice 25 countries. But in this video, we are going to try and beat that. Now I must confess, I did get this streak whilst playing GeoGuessr on stream on my Twitch. And annoyingly, I got it twice. I feel like it's impossible to beat this score. But if there's any time we can, it is tonight. And I'm feeling activated and ready to beat my highest score. So if you guys do enjoy tonight's video, why not consider playing along with me and guess what country we are in? And if you get any countries that I don't manage to get, why not let me know in the comments? And also, we play this game from time to time on my Twitch streams, so be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash diedawaysmr, which is linked in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Oh boy. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. I am ready, ready to beat our score of 25. Uh, I also must let you guys know I'm playing with a little restriction of two minutes time limit and moving allowed. So that means I'm allowed to move, but I have to make my guess of which country I think it is after two minutes. I'm only allowed two minutes, so it's going to be even harder to do. Uh, but let's go straight into this. Hopefully we can do all right. Oh boy, here we go. Our first round. Okay, so let's let's move about. See if we can pick up any clues. Um, we have someone walking their dog. Uh, we have a little sign here, which says Klar Otroska. I I don't know how to say that, but I'm thinking that's some sort of Slavic language, perhaps. be like the Czech Republic maybe or Slovenia I, I don't really know <laughs> but I think I can I can safely say that this is Europe um, another way I know that is some of the license plates license plates have little blue stripes on them as you can see which indicates we're in Europe it's the European flag now I did want to go and take a look at some of these buildings and cars because as you can see I've actually got kind of lucky here on the side of this van it's got a website www.geoplus.si now I'm not gonna go and look that up but or is it SL I don't know but that leads me to believe it's Slovenia Slovakia maybe probably Slovenia um, Let's see, do we have any more clues? Any more clues, 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 clues. Mm, we're at a big intersection here. I think, I think I've picked up enough clues. I only have 13 seconds anyway. So let's zoom in on the map and let's go for Slovenia. And that is absolutely correct. Let's go, 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 let's go. 
So first one done. The answer was indeed Slovenia. Your streak is now at one country, so one down. 24 to go, <laughs> and that's just to tie my record. Oh boy, let's go into the next one. And oh my gosh, we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> in my eyes anyways. I'm sure somebody's been here. Uh, this road goes on forever. Oh, this is no good. Let's go. Th let's go the other way. Let's let's go west and try and go through here. <laughs> oh, we have a person. We have a person. Hey, hey, can you tell us where we are? <laughs> um, let's keep on going. Let's go this way a little bit further. Let's go. Let's go in the corner. Let's keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. It is a very orangey type of soil. I, I know there's geogesser pros out there that can tell us where we are from, you know, like the soil or the trees or bollards, if there's bollards or telephone poles. But as you can imagine, I'm not one of them. <laughs> I rely on big, easy clues and I am not getting many here. So I might have to just make a guess and I'm thinking... Southeast Asia, perhaps, perhaps Indonesia, it could be Indonesia maybe, should we go for it, no it's Cambodia, dang it, well I hope now that we've sort of explained how the game works that can be considered our warm up game if you will and we'll jump into another one. See if we can do better this time. Okay, so driving on the left. Is is that guy flipping us off? <laughs> I could swear that they're flipping us off. Oh well, right, let's go. Oh, is that just a painting? <laughs> just out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, let's keep on going. We are again we're driving on the right here. So that could be useful. We have a sign on the left though and it's in Spanish. I believe. Camas mueble y más Don Leon. Could this be South America maybe? We got this yellow line in the middle. La mayor option on camas. The best option for s sleep mattresses, something I don't know. What do we have on this sign? William Gonzalez, Surrey. Ooh. Guatea Cambio. Kind of looks like Guatemala. Could this be Guatemala? They speak Spanish there. It's definitely a possibility. I'm definitely feeling that more over, you know, Brazil or Argentina. Um, President. Yeah, let's go Guatemala, which is right here. And it is, in fact, just because it's on the border, right on the border. In fact, we maybe even traveled into Mexico. That's pretty crazy. Well, one down. Let's go on to the next one. Hey, we're driving on the left here. This is the UK. Okay, I mean, well, it could be Ireland. But we can know for sure by looking at the back of the license plate here and seeing that it is yellow. And we indeed do that in the UK. In fact, if I had to guess, probably north of England. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably wasting too much time here. I could... Norwich. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, in England. So let's... Norwich is over here. So let's go uh, the UK. And hey, would you know it? That is correct. On a streak of two, going into number three. Now there is a little 
extra thing you can use to help yourself out here. If you find a flag of a country, you can kind of click on countries to work out what it is because it gives you a little preview of the flags in the bottom left, which is kind of nice of them to do that. Um, but, you know, I feel like I've, I've got a relatively okay flag knowledge. So if we can get lucky with a flag, then I'm sure I'll be able to work it out. Now, this looks like some sort of Germanic language. I mean, we've got the European license plate thing. Could this be Switzerland, though? Or Austria? They are definitely possibilities. I'm leaning towards Switzerland. It's quite hilly. Um, we're, we're even maybe in some sort of city, or on the outskirts of some sort of city or town. Can we head in and find out what city maybe? Can we use the bins? Uh, not quite. Definitely the city is, is more in this way, isn't it? We can see the buildings in the background. <laughs> Bitte diesel tour. Yeah, I'm thinking Swiss. But it could be Ger it could just be Germany. Or let's take a look here. We only have 15 seconds. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. In fact, I'm actually thinking Austria now. I'm gonna go Austria last minute. Okay, that was a good last minute change. It was in Linz, okay. Phew, I mean, Austria borders Switzerland, but then again, it also borders quite a lot of countries, so. Uh, yeah, I did, I did mention Austria, so. At least we got it on to the next country, however. Oh, this is looking more Okay, uh, this is, I think this is Switzerland this time, and I think there's one big clue that gives this away, and this is probably one of my little, they call it a meta, but this is a little meta thing I remember from when I played Geogesser a lot back in the day, and that is that Switzerland tends to have its camera on the car slightly lower down than most countries, so this is what's considered low cam, but also the other big clue is the URL domain ch, which is the Swiss domain. So this time we actually are in Switzerland. Nice. Four countries, okay. This is going well. This time, however, I think we are in Africa. Because, mainly because of the soil and also because we're driving on the left. And they drive in the left in Africa in particular countries, and I know a few of them. So I think they do it in like Kenya. I think Uganda. They don't really do it over the west coast, I don't believe, but they also do it in South Africa, which is a possibility. But I'm thinking Kenya for this one. But if we keep on moving, we should be able to see some English language. What does this say? Safaricom. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? Any day refreshments. Oh, I thought that was the, the name of a city, hopefully. Oh, what is this? Simba. You got a place you're going to on it. That would be nice. What does that say? Sparkle Center. Oh man, it sprouts like this. I wish I could Google some of these place names. <laughs> oh, there's a big sign over there. Or what have we got over here? Does that say Kenya? I'm not too sure. Catholic. St. Paul's Secondary School. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with Kenya. I'm going to take a look at this sign up here, though. We only have 15 seconds, so we have a little moment to try and get to it, if we can, in time. 
just in case it's too late, I'm going to click Kenya because it automatically logs in if you don't. All right, it's got to be, it's got to be Kenya. Yes, there we go. Quite south in Kenya, though, to be exact. So things are going well. Things are going well. We have five countries in a row. Moving on to the next one, however. Oh, English speaking again. It says hump. No. I have seen a big clue. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't miss it. We have, I believe, the flag of Singapore. Again, this is where my uh, flag knowledge is hopefully going to be right. It looks right to me in the corner down here, so I think we'll just, we'll just go for it. There we go, Singapore, right in the center. Very nice, beside the National Park. Okay, we'll do round seven. Okay, oh, we're on, I mean, not a very safe starting point. Let's move off of that. Uh, ooh, these houses are very distinct. Very distinct and very unique. Same with the cars. And again, we have another meta with the terms of the lower camera. So, no, it's it's not Switzerland this time. Do you guys think you know what country this could be? Uh, I'll give you a clue. It's in Asia. Hopefully I'm not wrong anyways. Uh, I believe that this is Japan. Now I can confirm by double checking that they do road signs like that. That's another little thing that you can use if you zoom in. Sometimes you can see, yeah, we've got these sort of hexagonal, is it a hexagon? Yeah, it's a hexagon uh, shaped road signs. So I think it's going to be Japan. Now if I had loads of time, I would try and find the 176, but pardon, we just need the country, don't we? There we go. It was on, oh, I thought it was on an island there, but it's not. Japan has lots of islands. On to the next one. Let's keep on going. Oh my goodness. What? Are we on a... Are we on like a bike here? I think we're on a bike. Going through some snowy mountains. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Oh, wait, it looks amazing. But it's not looking good for me working out what country this is because I have no clue. And I must let you all know that Geocaster recently added lots of new countries. Or at least since the last time I played. So this could be one of those ones. But I don't know. I need a big clue here. Very snowy. just be like Greenland maybe which counts as part of Denmark I'm not sure though it could also be Iceland it also that includes the Faroe Islands which I'm pretty happy with if it does because it could also be there but again I, I hope I'm not getting just screwed over by the game it looks like we're driving on the left are we? No, we're not. We're not driving on the left. Is there anything up here I can use? Oh, we actually have other vehicles that are driving on the right. Is that a flag? No. Oh, what language is that? That worries me. This could be Iceland. Do I change to Iceland last minute? I'm not going to. It's. I'm going to regret it though, aren't I? <sighs> Thank the Lord it wasn't Iceland. It was Greenland. Over in a place called Sisi Muit. Interesting. Okay. On to the next round. Which kind of has that Japanese vibe again with the houses. Slightly low cam as well. Yeah, I think these are like Japanese fields as well that are pretty common in Japan. With the sort of, I don't think they're rice fields, but I know that rice fields in Japan are are everywhere. Are they rice? I, 
guys, I'm not a, a botanist or anything like that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here, let's see here. I think this is Japanese language. I think I'm gonna just go for it again. I, I would love to go to Japan. I've never been to Japan. There we go. In Yugo, okay, or Ugo. Nice, 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 nice. Could this be the one? It's looking pretty good. Okay, this is not looking pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Driving on the left. We're driving on the left. By the way, you can see my streak in the top right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Now, these sort of... Um, the sort of occasion-style place. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors outside. Uh, with the sort, it's quite flat. There's a few mountains. It's also quite orangey. The dirt. I think this could perhaps be South Africa. No, I don't want to get tripped up because there are, of course, two little countries in South Africa. We have Iswatini and Lesotho. It could easily be Lesotho. If I could see maybe a town name, that would be really nice. But I mean, we have a person. Oh, that's just another car. I thought it was a sign. What's this on the left here? Uh, again, I just... I might have to risk South, uh, South Africa here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but let's go for it. South Africa, if it's Lesotho, I'll be so devastated. It was Kenya. No, of course they drive in the... Wait, we had Kenya earlier, Dido. Come on, why did I not even consider that? Oh, that's disappointing. We ended on a streak of nine. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're going to give this one more go, though. See if we can do a little bit better there. You can see my summary. We had a good range of countries there. But we're going to give this one final try. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. On to the final game of the video. It was taking a little moment to load in there, but we are finally in Rua das Avengas. This looks very fancy wherever this is. Very built up. That sounded Rua. Road. Is that Spanish for road, maybe? Um, area monitorada. Yeah, Spanish speaking. Where? South America. Where in South America could this be? I'm gonna need a big clue here, I think. Because this could be quite a few places. Oh, the signs have kind of changed a little bit. Oh, actually, that looks Portuguese. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks Portuguese, not Spanish. Oh, can we see the sun? Because the sun could give away something big here. The sun's in the north. So that could mean that this is Brazil rather than Portugal. Which surprises me because I wouldn't have put this as Brazil when I first saw it. Maybe it is. Let's go for it. Brazil, why not? It was. It must be in a big city. Uh, Sao Jose Florianopolis. I probably butchered that. I'm sorry. But yeah, it sounds like a big city to me. And on to our next one. Uh, English speaking, maybe. Oh, is, do we have flags? No. Um. I don't know, let's go, let's go this way. Looks like there's a road at the end here, so. I'd rather be down here than down that way. Can we, can we go around the corner, please? Uh, this is actually as far as we can go this way. I know we can go a little bit further. Uh, 
Ooh, is that? Could this maybe represent a flag? Could it maybe be uh, Indonesia again? I doubt it's the Philippines or Malaysia. Looks more like the Indonesian flag. Uh, I think I saw something up there as well. Can I look again? Nope. Thought I maybe saw something, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Batas. Me. Mararif. I don't know. <laughs> Probably butchering it again. Um, oh, I thought I saw a URL there. Oh, I do. ID. Indonesia. Let's go for it. Just outside of, uh, well, not really near Bandung, but not far from it. Uh, into round three here in Europe again. Look at the blue stripe. Where do you guys think this is? What language is that? I can't say I'm so sure. Um, pizza, don't make me hungry, don't make me hungry. What language is that? Sure, actually, maybe it's like Turkish or something, uh, or Romanian. Kind of looks Romanian. This could be Romania. I think I'm gonna go Romania because of that sign there. Uh, yep, three down. I think we got was it nine last time? We gotta try and beat. Okay, this is a very busy street. I th ah, this language looks familiar. Could this be... Gosh, it's very busy here. I think this could perhaps be Pakistan. Oh, uh, yes, there we go. Lahore, which is in Pakistan. So, it's just over here. So, let's make that guess. Perfect, 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 perfect. And we'll go on to the next one, which seems to be a pretty big building. So maybe like a college or a school, as people get in a, a picture. We have flags. The angle they are at is not so great. I can't tell if it's, is it German, is it? Albania, what, what is that flag? Spain, Austria, Peru. Let's look at the license plates. It's got a little bit of red on it. It looks to have a yellow thing in the middle. Is that... Not Kazakhstan, is that Kyrgyzstan? Yeah. That's the one with the red. And the yellow star in the middle. Also, this is not actually someone in a car. This is someone holding a camera. Oh yeah, that's clear as day now. It's got to be Kyrgyzstan. Nice in Bishek. And uh, it was Vladimir Lenin's statue. Uh, the building was the... N oh, I think the building was the State History Museum, actually, rather than the National Academic Drama Theater. Interesting. Nice. Whoops. Next round. Wow. This is beautiful. Right along the coast of a European town or city. Could this be, like... Greece, maybe. The type of uh, building structure definitely looks it. And I mean, that's Greek language if I've ever seen it. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go Greece. Let's go Greece, Greece, Greece. And we were on Crete. I've been to Crete and I've, I've been to Heraklion. I've maybe even been down that road. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be on a place I've actually potentially been? I think I, when I went to Heraklion, I stayed. Was it down here? I think I stayed near here. Anyway, we're, we're not here. Was it further this way, maybe? I don't know. We're not here to look where I went when I went to Heraklion. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to the next round. We have some cows. 
So let's go back to that checkpoint. Keep on going. Oh no, I've got 20 seconds. I have no idea where this is. Would I be an idiot if I went the UK? <gasps> wait, wait, we have something. We have something. A crossing. I, I feel like this might actually be the UK. No, it was New Zealand. outside of Auckland. We were driving on the left. I should have looked at the sun. Why didn't I look at the sun? Damn. Well, I didn't beat my score, which is disappointing, because I was really hoping we would. But, uh, yeah, that was tough. That was really tough. I think I need to give this another go, and if I do, I will probably try it on one of my live streams. Well, everybody, that is where I'm going to wrap up this ASMR gaming video on GeoGuessr trying to guess the country we were in. We only got a streak of nine, which is nowhere near my score of 25, so that just means I'm going to have to try this again. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me give this another go. And as I said, don't forget to follow me on my Twitch to see me play some more of this GeoGuessr. But until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed me playing this game. Let me know in the comments if you got any ones correct that I didn't. And uh, yeah, other than that, I want to thank you so very much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next video.